three and three quarter by three and three quarter. Okay, I'm gonna leave that right here. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna glue that right here. So you can use whatever you prefer to glue. Oh, I dropped something, something. Oh, it's a recipe. You know, it's that time of the year, cooking. Caroline from Nebraska. Oh my goodness. I saw a post about the taffy. I think you're the Caroline that do taffy. Oh my goodness. How yummy that look. That was just amazing looking at those pictures. You are so welcome, Mary. I have to remember, you know, putting the measurement when it's live because it's not like I don't have the blog to go through or sometimes I put it on top though. Then, okay, so we get one at the top, open this up and put one inside here. Now, I'm using very vanilla and this design your series paper some print it's white and some print it's very vanilla the background okay this here measure five da, 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 one minute measure twice cut once right so this one measure yes five by three and three quarter five by three and three quarter. Uh, this one though, I'm gonna use, I just gather a quick stamp set and I use the peaceful there. I'm gonna use a smoky slate and we're gonna stamp the snowflake at the top here, just a little border of snowflake. And then while I get this, I'm gonna stamp some on the, oops, the card here. The envelope, I mean. Here, a little border of snowflake there. Okay, now let's take this and we're gonna glue that right here in the center inside. And those uh, gift bag or whatever card holder gift bag in a card, like I said, you can do that in a regular card. You can do some with a belly band in, uh, in, around. You can do uh, the 10 card. You can do uh, the vertical card. It's no right and wrong. Now I'm putting those strip right here, one over here. Now close this. Oh my goodness, she said, we only made 30 pounds of sugar. We used to make 80 to 100. That looked like so much work, Caroline, but it looks so interesting, so, so much. I can see it's something that been passed down the generation to generation, I think. That looks so much fun. So see how pretty that is? That would look very pretty for masculine, absolutely. Now, now that we get this, now the next step though i think it's very kind of important or it's going to work much better it doesn't matter the punch you can use a circle punch you can use a rectangle punch you can use it don't matter this the punch you're going to use i am using the elegant tag because that go with that paper so i just picked that uh, one a step from wyoming i saw you guys get quite the deal of uh, when the past week my goodness see i'm catching up with all my friends from up in wyoming okay so i'm using this and like i said i'm using the heavy uh vanilla and the reason why i think the uh, vanilla let me add something here why the very vanilla uh, the thick one it's because we're going to put some pressure on this so it's better to use the thick than a you know the the regular white or vanilla 
Now on this, I got uh, sending love and peace this season. And I wanted something that fit in that, and that was the peaceful deer. So I'm going to be using Mary Merlot to do my greeting here. Voila. Now I'm going to use back the smoky slate. I want to keep my area clean here. Here we go. So I'm going to Here we go. And I got a dauber here. We're going to sponge that around. When you sponge, I know many of you heard me that, but in case I get new people, you want to really put pressure. So all the paper tight and put the pressure on it. Don't think you're patting the baby, changing a baby diaper, and be very gentle. This is not a baby. You want to really put pressure on that, and that make it a lot easier to do your sponging with a dauber. Et voila. So now I get a very nice sponging around. Now the trick for this, I try with dimensional, and it was too loose. So we want to use glue dots. And the glue dots, okay, this flap here going to go at the top and I'm going to put that in the center. I want to use glue dot all against here and a bit there. But you don't want to pass the center, okay, because it has to slide under. So I'm going to put a few glue dots. And the reason why I like glue dots for this one, it, usually I would say dimensional, you know, because they give you the chance to push. But because we get that gift back in the center that want to push open, that's why a glue dot going to make it tighter. So now I'm going to put a few, two more glue dots right there. Okay, so it's going to be more secure. And also I should say it's easier sometimes to add more than taking them off right but i know i don't want to pass my center i need another one right here though so i'm going to use my scissors here and i'm going to put that right here okay now i'm going to take this put that right in the center and we're going to put some bling in the front of this but before we need to do the inside see it keep it close so now, now when I open it up, et voila. And then when I slide it, put it just under and boom. Uh, tear and tape for grade two. Yes, and we're going to be using tear and tape tonight. See, boom. Okay. Oh, I want my embellishment, but first... Okay, now we're going to do the gift card itself. So what I got here, here we go. So it measured three and a half by nine and a half. Three and a half by nine and a half. That's the main measurement, okay? Now we're going to score it half, one, four and a half, five, five and a half, and nine. And then on this direction, half inch and three. So really it's half inch on each end. So the way that I did it, I think it's less uh, number to remember. So I like to start on the long way. So I'm going to do half inch. And then three or F, right? Here we go. Voila. So now I score that. We're going to flip this. And when it's short, I like to push it against there. So we're going to go at F. And then I'm going to go at one. And then I'm going to flip it. I find it easier to do that way, but you can come here. F, one. 
it's already score now I'm going to go at oops at four and a half four and a half we're going to score we're going to go at five five and a half and then nine so nine really it's f inch at the end there so i'm going to do it this way i know that's nine et voila now we're going to take this and i'm going to just press that just a little bit to help me uh, guide what to remove there but after that we're going to re um, reinforce all that very good when you remove so we're going to remove all corners the four corners well all this we're just going to keep the center there remove the center over here so when you do that you want to remove the score line if you go too much inside the score line it's going to bulk where you're going to fold it so let's remove all this and then in the center you get three score line in the center you want to remove all three score line here so i uh, i hope you guys are ready for christmas um it's going to be here before we know craziness right next week it's the 20 whatever something something yep next week it's the last thursday before christmas it's just crazy okay now you see i removed that now we're going to reinforce our score line let me clean a little bit of my mess here so now the top and the bottom it's the same so you don't have to guess what's the bottom what's the top it don't matter I made the measurements so the top and the bottom are the same so it don't matter which one you're going to use for the bottom or which one you're going to use for the top it is the same et voila so, oh one more over here and you know what I have to remove that I didn't pay attention that's what happened when you talk and work at the same time sometimes you forget stuff so you have to remove the score line the square here so this side you get two of them right and this one it's one and you're going to see how that work in a minute oh my goodness i don't know how many of you know what the tortillade is jocelyn says she have to do the tortillade i didn't make any for a couple of years but now that you mentioned that i think i need to go get some pork and make it so what is a tortillade that's a new brunswick or a french thing or quebec or canada or whatever it is a meat pie and in the meat pie it's a uh, pork in it and some put hamburger also or some put the wild game uh, and the spice in it it's what i call thanksgiving spice pretty much so you get the clover you get the ginger you get the cinnamon and so oh my goodness it is so good my aunt used to make the best of it the best oh the memories okay now we're going to fold down and fold up here and then we're going to take this one and we're going to glue that there see that's going to go there but before we're going to glue that we're going to do the top and the way that i'm going to do the top fold those two and put it in the center here and then we're going to do three quarter inch that's the one that i kind of like i'm looking for a ruler and for some reason i think tonight 
the rulers are walking around. Here we go. Pie pork, yeah, some people call it pie pork, Sandra, and that would be tops, yeah, really, it's French, or uh, grandma was uh, French, so really, the real word for that, if you scroll, you're going to see Jocelyne type it with the the accent aigu and everything that is pure French and I think really that is the true name in yeah oh my goodness it is you know when you're used to something mm, 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 mm. we should talk about you know what is the one thing that you guys do during the holidays that some people don't have a clue what it is but your family it's a tradition or it can be you know some people know what it is but what is a tradition that you guys do Okay, mark at three quarter ear, and from the last core here, going in, mark at three quarter. And if this turn out good tonight, I'm gonna to be laughing because I am more chit chatting than ever here. Now I'm keeping both of them together because I just mark one side. Very rare that I mark, but in this case I do. I'm just using a old punch, very tiny and i'm just snipping the top of it okay boom and then i do the same thing over here if you don't have a little old punch and just snipping you can take a, a poker and then do poke it in go in poke and poke so you can do that also i just like to do those little holes i find it easy now you can use ribbon, you can use um, whatever you call, uh, trim, whatever that you want for a handle. I got two pieces here that measure six inch of the trim, the silver. Now, I thought that was a good color that goes with this. Now open this up. Now what I done, I E boy, this one here, I need a tiny little bit more. I don't think I can thread this. Let me, uh, here we go. So what we're going to do is take one side at a time, and I like to put a little bit of a seal there or glue of any kind. I prefer not the liquid glue for this because just the way that I put my, uh, hmm, here we go. Just the way that I put my uh, trim in, I think it would just make a mess. So I'm going to put that right at the edge there. See? And then you're going to take the other piece, bring it in, and put that right at the edge. Now we're going to do the same thing with... Uh, the other side, ooh, Scottish shortbread. Mmm, that sounds yummy. Okay, now we're going to pass. Oh, yeah, pass from the front there. Here we go. And if we go to about the same, it should pretty much match, right? Then here. And this, I did six inch. You want to do up between five and six inch. Maybe you want your handle a little bit shorter. So I would say anything between five and six inch would work perfect. Okay, so now you see this. Before that, I really glue that tight though. I'm going to see if they're equal. I'm taking a piece of tear and tape and I put that at the top. I want something strong for this here. And like I said, because I did the top and the bottom the same size, did I go the pot? Mm, that's Quebec also, I think. Absolutely. See? Boom. And then we're going to put that together. Okay, this one, it's a little bit longer, so what I'm going to do is just take this and pull it a bit. Okay, it was just a bit uh, 
longer. Let's see now. And that could be, you know, me when I cut my... Uh... Here we go. See? It looked very lovely now. So now, what we're going to do is open this. Remove our backing from the tear and tape. And close this. So even if you put a ribbon, you don't have to have much bigger hole than that, okay? Now remove this. Now we're going to close this. So now that's solid. Now this one here, open that all the way, just fold that in the center. And then we're going to put this flush there, and this one going to go at the top. I like to put mine at the top, okay? So now you're going to take a piece of tear and tape, and you're going to put that right here. And we're going to remove this. And then you're going to put that right there. Now, one thing that I didn't do on my first one, oh, I get a little bit of glue there, and you surely don't want that. So make sure you don't have no tear and tape hanging out loose there. That's a no-no. You don't want them hanging loose. One thing I didn't do on the other one, and I wish I would have done, it's when I did my sample, we're going to go and just cut a little bit, you know, just a tiny, tiny little bit, okay? And you're going to see why in a minute. So, you know what they say? The more you make, the more you, you get the hang of it and learn little tips. Well, that would be a tip, I think, that's going to make a difference. I, I mean, I don't know about a difference, but it's going to make it um, easier to uh, pop up. And not seeing the side. Now you're going to open this up. And I like to do one side at a time. But I like to put both of the glue right away here. So I'm going to put the tear and tape. Flip on the other side. And we're going to put right just below the score line there. And here. Yes, you're going to say, well, what the heck? That's anything you put in there are going to fall out, right? But wait a minute. So here, the side going to go in this way, okay? That's the way it fits. So I want to make sure that everything is reinforced here. So reinforce this. I'm going to lift this this way and lift this this way just to make sure it's reinforced. Now we're going to do one side at a time. And so I'm going to peel this one here, and then at your score line right here, we're going to put that, a line that try to go on each side about the same proportion. I'm not measuring for that. You don't want to pass the score line. You want to be at the score line, and then you're going to close this, and then open this up. And then remove this piece of tape. Ta-da. Want to make sure you don't have... And then you're going to close this one here. And while I got that in the back, I'm going to sign this. And now when you open it up, ta-da! Is that the cutest thing? Now, I just use some tissue paper, and I just, oh my goodness, um, take a piece here. It's no right and wrong, right, with tissue paper. And then you're going to take a gift card. Let me grab a gift card. Okay, hey, don't worry, this is, the numbers are not good. It was back when, 2015, see? Let me tell you, they spend, all spend. Now, I like to, okay, I'm going to tear this up. I like to go sideways a bit, give a little bit of point there, give a bit of point. 
now this way and then I'm gonna go this way and then go this way just to give some points and then I'm gonna fold this but I'm gonna put my gift card there and then oh I like to have one piece in the front one piece in the back okay. And just play with it till. Because it's going to get crunched no matter what, right? You know what? This one I didn't put as much. Here we go. So now you get place to write. See, it stand up very, very nice. And then when you close it, and then see, that's why you want this very tight. When you close it, it's going to stay closed. And that fit in a regular envelope. And I'm going to send that. You get it a little bit shorter. Like I said, the reason why I find it, it to have my flap at the top without using 12 by 12 paper. So, yes, you could put earrings. You could put a, a few different things. Absolutely. But let me finish the front of this. For me, this was looking a little bit naked here. So um, what I done to dress that up, I used the holiday uh, rhinestone and I'm using, uh, it's kind of a maroon here. And I put one, I'm going to use even the big one there. One, two. Go. Now those one are done. I'm going to go here. I was prepared for another one. Use the small one. So I'm just alternated the big one and the small one. And I think those little rhinestone, uh, it add quite a bit to uh, the card, right? Whoops. Here we go. And to dress it even more, I'm going to take one and put it right here at the top. We're going to take two little one, put it there, and put one there. Et voila! How cute is that? See? So now when they get it, and plus, you, they can even showcase it this way, or they can leave it on the table and see you would see their message there i didn't write nothing because some um some don't use the word christmas i like the word christmas um so this one here should go for any occasion right doesn't matter which type of holiday you're celebrating uh sending love and peace this season you know what it could could even be used for Valentine's at this point, right? So um, that's it. So again, the designer series paper, it's from um, the animal catalog. And it's a specialty paper, get gold and copper, uh, silver. It is a beautiful paper. Uh, page, okay, it's right here on page 133 see this here i had done a little purse that's what i was planning to do and so many asked me to do the back this is what i was planning to do tonight so i think i'm going to do this for valentine's because this little um, diets carry over that a gift card don't fit in it but we can alternate it to fit but i think i'm going to use that just to use for um valentine's candy maybe little candy and so on so uh, that is this lovely paper. Is that pretty? So see, you get the copper, the silver, you get the gold, like tonight our paper get the golds in it. Very, very elegant, and I should say it look rich. So let me recap this here. So if you arrive late, um, you can, when it's done, you can watch the replay. Here is the size of the designer series paper in vanilla. This was for the bag itself that measured three and a half by nine and a half. 
and then the card measure four by eleven score at four and nine and a quarter in here it's f one four and a half five five and a half and nine f f each top and bottom so i am glad that my microphone worked today i was so i was like it don't seem right still it don't seem right but i guess we got it done so that's good so next uh, Thursday, it's I'm done with Christmas, put it that way. I'm done, done. I still have some baking to do though. Um, I started some baking last week, I, I still have a bit of baking to do, but meaning with stamping, I am way done with Christmas. Done. So next week, it's going to be a uh, scenery using after the storm. And it's a card that I got from Root from the UK. So stay tuned. I am, it's so, so pretty. So that's what I'm going to do next Thursday. So hope you can join me. And again, remember, I know it's the busy time and so on. Those create on the fly, they are recorded. So if you miss, you can come later and watch the replay. So, um, that's about it. I hope you're having a great weekend. And till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye for now.